you already know what NFT games are at this point. Like any video game, there are a ton of genres to choose from with these games. Who knows, there might be an FPS NFT game being developed right now. Oh god, what would that look like? Virtual real estate is an interesting genre when it comes to these types of games. Basically, a virtual real estate NFT game involves the players buying, owning, selling, and trading assets from a virtual real estate market. Think about simulation games like city building or city management games. Even something like a farm game can count as such. The methods of making money involve you selling those items that you may have. Different games have different approaches and styles, but the general theme is always there. That's why here at the Game Mag, we'll cover the top 5 NFT virtual real estate games that you might want to try out. Number 5. Continuum World Let's start with number 5, which is Continuum World. The game isn't out yet, but pre-registration is happening in case you're interested. Continuum World has some nice and cute graphics. It has that nice cartoonish visual presentation that you may like, or possibly despise if you don't like cartoons, you monster! But regardless, it's light on the eyes and won't take you out of the game. The gameplay mechanic is what you would expect, which is to farm and run things in your plot of land. That's how you get the ball rolling, which is to buy a plot of land available in the game. The game may be free, but you need to spend some money to get started. Buying land through Ethereum and perhaps other means later on is a must. Once you buy your land, that's where the magic starts to happen. There are a couple of things that you need to do, which is to farm some resources. Using said resources can net you some in-game money, which is also a way for you to make some money. Later on, you'll be able to build structures that you can use to farm more resources and keep your little plot of land going. You even get to socialize and compete with other players later on as the game revs up its mechanics. Assuming you don't get social anxiety from games, that would just be unfortunate. Adding things like governance and others can lead to more features later on. Just to summarize, if you want to make money in this game, number one, you can sell the resources that you farm. Number two, you can stake the game token UM to get some rewards and governance rights. Number three is by leveling up your character in the game. Finally, number four, there will be some in-game events popping up that you might want to check out. Number four, The Central Land. The Central Land is a game that you've probably heard back in the day. That's because this game was launched all the way back in 2017. This was even before the whole NFT boom today, but just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. It's quite the opposite. Due to the rising popularity of NFT games, Decentraland has been experiencing a renaissance when it comes to its market. This game is very straightforward since you don't need to harvest resources and run your little farm or whatever. The point of this game is that you have to be creative. The game allows players to create certain in-game items as long as they are under the accepted guidelines. Using those items that you create, you can sell them online for cryptocurrency and in-game currency. When you're not busy making stuff, you can roam around the virtual world created by its users using VR systems. That's right, think of it as a virtual chat room where you can interact with other people. However, despite how simplistic this game looks, it is very competitive. Think family board game night. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but it is pretty competitive. You have had players since 2017 buying plots of land for huge amounts of money. They even reach up to over $100,000. What do people do with those lands, you ask? They either resell it or have items placed in it. This is where the virtual real estate aspect comes in, since people can run such economies considering the game already has a working and functioning governing system that people can use. Number 3. The Sandbox The Sandbox is the next game we'll be discussing, and it is somewhat similar to Decentraland. You could even say it is just a graphical differentiation between the two. The sandbox functions the same where players can also buy plots of land available for sale. These lands are going hot and fast, and you can imagine how much money people are sinking into these games. The sandbox is also a game that allows people to create and design certain assets that can be sold in the game. The better you are making stuff, the more money you can potentially make. Then again, you have to abide by the game's rules since you can't just make some inappropriate stuff and sell them for a price. I'm looking at you, XXNoobSlayer69. I know what you were trying to do last time, and that will not happen again. Competition is also stiff, but if you're confident in your skills, then you can make it. What are these in-game assets that you're wondering about? They could be anything ranging from clothes and cosmetics that your characters wear to things that can be placed in different areas. You can even have some decorations and infrastructures placed. The social interaction is still there, where you can mingle with other players when you're not busy making things. The Sandbox also has some popular brands and even celebrities getting into the mix. 
people can bring in some brands when they've cleared out everything in between. Number 2. My Neighbor Alice You'll love this next game because it is free to play and this is My Neighbor Alice. The game isn't slated to come out yet until 2022, but it will be available for Steam. First of all, the game looks adorable, vibrant, and colorful. It is a farming simulator game and not the demanding kind. You can play at your own pace if you want, and that's the appeal of the game. Even though it is free, you may need to spend some real money to get some of those assets right away. Players have bought the early sale by the game for plots of land. A lot of these virtual real estate NFT games tend to be selling out on land quite fast. That's a good thing though, because it tells you that there's a strong interest in these games. Especially for this one, when it isn't even coming out yet until next year. You need to run your farm and do the basics. Sell the items that you get from your farm so even if you didn't spend a dime, you can make a dime through some form. If you want to try a free virtual real estate NFT game, then you might want to check out My Neighbor Alice coming next year. Number 1. A Planned The number one virtual real estate NFT game that you should check out is A Planned. In terms of the graphical department, it isn't anything special. In fact, it kind of looks like something that was commissioned by a big company to explain to employees why the copier is meant to make paper copies and nothing else. Then again, that's not the reason why you're going to try out this game in the first place. Upland is a very interesting game because its world map is based on our real world. Now before you get amazed, this map really isn't that entirely detailed, but you get the point where you can buy and use plots from different renowned cities in the world. This is another game where players are fast to buy plots of land. An interesting feature in the game is that you can travel from one city to another like how you would in real life. Traveling costs some money, but it may be a boon for you in the future. There are a lot of gameplay elements that can also help you earn some money. Buying, trading, and selling are already the basic things that you do. If ever someone is putting up their property for sale, then you have to be alert to buy it because people are fast. Think Sonic fast. No, no, God, not that one. After the redesign, after the redesign. Phew, still have nightmares about that one. The teeth, man, the teeth. Sorry, where was I? Right, there will also be some treasure hunts that will be opened after certain time periods. You may or may not be qualified to join some of these hunts depending on your status in the game. Finally, don't forget about the events that will give you some potentially nice rewards. Upland has a thriving economy and the barrier to entry isn't that high if you're interested in trying it out. Now that you've got an idea which games are good for you, would you like to start playing any of them? Did any of these games catch your interest, especially if you like these type of games? For more gaming content, tune in to the Game Mag after you've hit that like and subscribe button.